after we detect that there's protein present, we want to localize it. Um, because initially we said it has to be a renal origin to, to necessarily to be something we worry about and want to treat. So physiologic, um, also known as benign proteinuria, it's usually transient and abates when the cause is removed. And this can happen with exercise, a seizure, fever, temperature extremes, you know, uh, heat stroke as well as um, hypothermia, um, and just being, you know, a septic patient. Um, you know, a lot of um, a lot of animals that come in, and we do a urinalysis as part of their routine screening, um, especially for mild tenus. And we see that um, two or three plus proteinuria, and we don't know if this is um, transient or if it's going to be pathologic. So that's one that we, we typically want to follow up on um, a few weeks after the, the illness to see if there is evidence of, of kidney disease present that we can enter, enter uh, the. So if, it, if it's not physiologic, if you don't, you know, if it's a patient that is basically coming in for geriatric screening, um, then we have pathologic proteinuria, and it can be urinary or non-urinary. Non-urinary um, proteinuria um, on our SSA, um, which is the only test that will be positive, um, that would be Ben's Jones proteins. Um, and then, you know, post-urinary or genital, um, if you have inflammation there, and you should get some indications. But that doesn't always happen. You can have a active sediment and not have proteinuria present um, because albumin isn't necessarily always leaked out um, to the degree that. So um, then we move to urinary, and again, we can have non-renal or renal. Um, again, inflammation or hemorrhage can fall cause false positives if there's leakage of albumin into the into the urinary. But this is where we're getting to where we want to talk about tonight. Um, again, our systematic algorithms, um, if you have localized that it's renal, you ruled out all the other causes, it can be tubular tubulo interstitial or it can be glomerular. Um, or it can be other kidney disease. So any kidney disease, neoplasia, polynephritis, leptospirosis, um, they can all cause renal proteinuria. Um, the topic that we're going to um, focus on is chronic kidney disease. Um, but any any kidney disease can cause can cause proteinuria. Um, but we don't treat those directly. We only treat them if we suspect that it's glomerular. 